When the call came in that there had been a shooting at the University of Montreal, I didn't believe it at first. I thought it was a college prank. I decided to ride along with photographer Richard Arliss. And it wasn't until we got to here that I realized it was real. The sky was a low ceiling cover and it was red and blue as far as the eye could see. Richard and I got out and walked up the hill. Our hair stood up on our arms. We looked at each other and we knew this was real. When we arrived on the scene, this entire plaza was full of emergency vehicles and we photographed ambulance workers taking the injured out of the main entrance. Shortly after, three students came and offered to give me a boost to see through the cafeteria window. I'd been trying to see what was going on in the cafeteria. The windows were far too high. These three students boosted me up and I managed to get a view through the curtains while a policeman retraced the killer's footsteps. At one moment he turned and reached up to the banane sign. Other media had noticed me there and came running and made so much noise that the policeman turned, ran to the window with his badge, slapping his badge to the window and taping the curtains closed. I stayed here till the early hours of the morning. I remember thinking to myself as I left, I would never see another school shooting like this again in my lifetime. But unfortunately, I covered Valerie Fabricant at Concordia University and I covered the Dawson College shooting. Three school shootings in my town in my lifetime. When is it going to change?